Now, before we move on, I do want to show you guys one potential issue that you can run into if you don't quite understand how these routes work and how order matters within FastAPI. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a dummy route and you guys don't need to follow along on this. It's just a quick little demonstration. And I'm just going to make this another get request uh, or handler for a get request. And then this one's going to be posts slash latest. So what this will do is when the user sends a request, a get request to this specific path, latest path, we're going to grab whatever the latest post is. And so here I'll just say uh, def get latest post. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to reference our my posts list and I'll say we'll get the length of my post and then we'll just minus one. So this will grab the latest post and then what we're going to do is just return that. Here we'll say detail and then we'll pass in and actually let me store this in a variable post equals and then we'll return post. We'll save this and I'm going to show you what happens. So let's create a new request. I'm going to just copy the URL from the previous one. And then here we're going to change this to latest. Let's see what happens. Interesting. We get an error. So what exactly happened? Well, let's take a look at the error. It's saying that um, we have a um, path parameter called ID and it looks like it's saying that this is not a valid integer. So I'm not even sure why it's referencing this error. I guess if we take a look at our code, right, there's, there's no path parameter here. So what is exactly happening? Well, let's take a look, right? Our request looks like this. So it's going to slash post slash latest. So when we send this request, what's going to happen is that we're going to start all the way at the top and fast API is going to go through the list of all of our, um, all of our paths and it's going to find the first match. So we have one at just the root URL. So it's not going to match that. We have one at slash posts. It's once again, not going to match that. This one is for a post request. So it's not going to match that because we sent a get request. But then something interesting happens here when we get to this get request, right? So this handles a get request and then it matches slash posts and then some variable. So technically that variable could be latest. You see the issue that we're running into because there's no way for fast API to know that that route was meant for that. That request was meant for this specific path, right? Because it does technically match on this. And then what happens is since it matches on this route, it then tries to perform validation on ID which is in this case, it's going to end up being latest. And then it's going to throw an error because latest can't be converted to an integer. Uh, and so this is the example of where order matters. So you have to be careful when you structure your API, especially with your, with your paths and your URLs, you want to make sure that you don't run into this type of issue. So, you know, one thing in this case you could do is just move this up. That would fix the issue because now if you save this and then run this, right, it works. And if you uh, try to reference a specific ID, that's going to work as well. Well, in that case, let's try one. Yep. And so that works as well because uh, slash post slash one will never match this one. It'll only match this one. Uh, so be very careful when it comes to the order. It always works top down. So anytime you're working with path parameters, it could potentially result in you guys accidentally matching other routes by accident. So, you know, there's different ways to get around this. Like I said, you can just move this up or if you wanted to change the URL altogether so that this is like a slash post slash, um, I don't know, you know, just put in another keyword, something like a, a recent or something recent slash latest or something. Well, actually, even then that would, yeah. And so just keep, and so I just want to make sure you keep that in mind when you're structuring your API, because anytime you have a path parameter, it could result in you um, accidentally matching requests that were meant for a different, uh, for a different route. So I'm just going to delete this. This was merely just for demonstration purposes. And I just want to make sure that you guys understand the fast API, uh, just looks at all of your paths and just works its way down the list till it finds the first match.